Hey guys, so uh, today in this video, well, tonight in this video, uh, have a lot of thoughts about uh, the pandemic that's going around the world, the COVID-19, and how a lot of people are going to need to sanitize their food and to uh, clean the surfaces in their house, especially if they get somebody with this disease and they want to like clean their house and everything. And um, I realized that uh, bleach is one of the things, bleach and soap are kind of the two things that seem to have come out in the news as important in uh, protecting against these things and, and to sanitize like your food. So this video today is uh, to help you guys uh, make bleach so you can at home so you can sanitize the things you need to sanitize. Um, it may not be quite as easy as I show in this video, hopefully it is, <laughs> but uh, um, hopefully this helps and maybe can save some lives. So um, please share this with your friends and uh, subscribe and here we go. So all right, so basically to make bleach all you need is direct current electricity and salt water and um, some some good electrodes uh, particularly the anode um, in electrolysis tends to get dissolved away and so there are a few anodes that resist that and or are easy to clean up the parts that flake into the, the bleach solution so the best one if you can get it is platinum if you can just find you know just a small piece of platinum like here I'll show you this is my wife's uh, ring that I gave her. I'm obviously borrowing it back right now. It's, it's a platinum ring. And so I can use it as an anode and it will remain platinum. Nothing will happen to it. And uh, this is my direct current power supply. Um, this is pretty nice because I can adjust the voltage up and down and I'll show you that in just a sec. But if you didn't have one of these the next thing I would recommend is there are these uh, laptop like adapters this side that plugs into the wall goes to AC current and then out the other end comes a DC current and essentially you know if you've got scissors you can cut it right here and then one of these wires is positive and the other is negative the positive one is the one that you want to attach to your anode, okay? The other one's called the cathode, but, you know, you don't need to know that so much. But the one, you know, so you'll, if you use, now let's talk about what you can use, at least the easiest things to get. So one is platinum. It's a little bit rare, but it can be found. And then another one that you could use is uh, graphite. So you can use a pencil head. I just shaved off the uh, both ends of this pencil. The one end I attach to the wire and the other end goes in the, the liquid solution. So that's one way to do it. You could also use, um, so I'm a coin dealer, <laughs> surprise. And uh, these are silver coins. If you use silver coins, the one on this side will probably turn white or black or both. And that's because silver will go to silver chloride and you probably have to filter that out. Um, also with graphite, um, if you use graphite, you'll get little dark flecks of graphite, and then you could use like a, like a cheesecloth, something like this, and just put it like in a, you know, in a bowl or a dish or something, and just filter your liquid through it, and the, the solids, will, most of them will stay here, and you can use your bleach uh, for cleaning whatever you gotta clean. So, let me show you uh, how this goes. You'll get, you'll get some bubbles at both, uh, both sides. On the one side, on the anode side, you're making a little bit of chlorine gas. And ideally, that'll dissolve into solution. And on the other side, you're making sodium hydroxide and um, hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas, you don't want to make a lot of it. Hydrogen gas, you don't want to make a lot of it in an enclosed space, or chlorine gas for that matter. 
Uh, most of chlorine stays in the solution though because it reacts with uh, one of the other things that's made at the cathode, which is sodium hydroxide. And sodium hydroxide will go and mix with the chlorine and make bleach. So that's how the chemistry works. I'm going to turn this on and now um, I'm going to turn up the voltage a little bit. It's at 4. It starts bubbling at 4. But you'll really be able to probably hear the bubbles. Let's see. It's not connecting. Oh yeah, there we are. We're connected. Just have to make sure the wire's touching the right place. So we're at uh, 170, 160 milliamps roughly. These little wires. And there's uh let me see if I can move this. You guys can see the bubbles. So the bubbles are forming. Uh, I did this a little bit for a few minutes earlier. This is just salt water. I used uh, iodized salt. You might get a little iodine in your bleach, but that also is antiseptic, so that's not a problem. It'll sanitize as well. And so the big bubbles on the ring are chlorine gas, and the little bubbles on the uh, pencil are hydrogen gas. And then there's sodium hydroxide forming in the solution, and it'll react with the chlorine gas on the ring, and that makes your bleach. So you just set this up and you let it run for, you know, a few hours or maybe a day out in a well-ventilated area, and uh, and you'll make some bleach. So not too hard. Uh, platinum's the best uh, the best metal that you could get. Here I'm gonna turn this off so I don't shock myself. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to think if there's any other details. I got few notes here. Let me check them real fast. Cricket, this is fun. Uh, Alright, let me check my notes. So, let's see. Be careful not to shock yourself. Don't use stainless steel because it's got chromium in it. And apparently, chromium, when it goes into solution, um, is can give you cancer, I guess. It's, uh, it's not good. <laughs> so I don't use anything that's stainless steel. Um, there's one more way. I, I talked about several anodes and that you could use for this experiment. So there's basically three ways. You know, there's platinum, there's graphite, and there's uh, silver that you could use. You could also use uh, lodestone. It's a it's an iron mineral uh, that can be used as the anode as well. And if you're a geologist and you know where to find it, or you know one, maybe you could use that. Um, Let's see. Platinum ventilation. Oh yeah, do it in a well-ventilated area because uh, you don't want, chlorine gas is not good for people and uh, so you want to do it like out in a garage that's open or like, you know, some kind of a shed space. Um, let's see, I think uh, that pretty much covers the the topics that I wanted to cover. I'll clip in either in the beginning or the end uh, me washing my fruits and vegetables with a cap full of chlorine bleach. I just took a cap full and poured it in my sink with you know half a sink full of water and uh, washed them. So anyway thanks for watching. See you next time.